but first of course let me take you to the first big number that I'm taking you to the first big question that we've asked in the mood of the nation poll remember we told you we'll give you a sense of what's happening in the state so one of the things is the performance of chief ministers in these states take a look at what our poll says when it comes to chief ministerial performance. We start with the big state of Uttar Pradesh. What is the level of satisfaction when it comes to the performance of the UP government? 49% say they are satisfied for Yogi Adityanath, chief minister, remember. Somewhat satisfied, 17%. Dissatisfied is 34%. So that's the first big number. Yogi Adityanath just below that 50% mark on total satisfaction levels. Let's turn to the next state. We turn to Punjab, where the performance of Punjab Chief Minister, 33% satisfied with Charanjit Singh Chani, taken over just a couple of months ago, somewhat satisfied, 30%, and not satisfied is uh, 37%. So Mr. Chani still struggling to establish himself fully in Punjab. Let's turn to the next state. Uh, we turn to the state of Uttarakhand. Uh, there you have uh, Pushkar Dhami, 41% are satisfied with the performance of the chief minister. Somewhat satisfied is 26%. Dissatisfied is uh, 34%. So no chief minister so far crossing that 50% mark in satisfaction. The fourth state that we turn to is the state of Goa, where with Pramod Savan, satisfaction level is just 27%. Uh, somewhat satisfied, 39%. So an average rating there coming for the chief minister. Dissatisfied is uh, 34%. Finally, Manipur, uh, and look at there, where, where we look at Nipendra Singh, 39% are satisfied with the Chief Minister. Uh, somewhat satisfied is 28%, and uh, dissatisfied uh, or unsatisfied is 33%. That's the first big question that we want. Yashwan, give us a sense. You've extrapolated from the national poll into these state numbers. What is the big picture, according to you, that's emerging? Well, obviously, uh, Rajdeep, that uh, the sentiment of anti-incumbency anti is pretty much in, uh, and it has been working uh, very strongly against the sitting MLAs as well. But uh, yes, each and every state has a different story to tell. You know, uh, on the face of it, it looks like uh, Chief Minister Yogi of Uttar Pradesh has uh, has been carrying maximum satisfaction among, the, uh, among his own set of supporters. But uh, remind you that he also carries the maximum number of... Uh, people who are dissatisfied as well, if you look at the otherwise. So probably because he is a polarizing figure that he is loved and hated, I mean, in a very strong terms, so probably he is uh, getting the, those kind of numbers. But otherwise, uh, you know, uh, Chani, I would say, has been a very good wild card for the Congress because if you will compare the numbers of Chani with Amrinder Singh, mm -hmm. you will see that he has done a lot of damage control as far as the Congress leadership is concerned. The problem is that Mr. Chani's leadership is always questioned by more than the opposition, rather than uh, you know his own party mates, and that is why it is uh, uh, that is what is clear danger or, or, or challenge for Mr. Chani right now. He is grappling with the uh, with his own party more right. than what he is grappling with his opposition. Right. Now. The first word that uh, was used there by Yashwant was anti-incumbency. You know, there's a sense that no chief minister is getting 60% or more. There is no overwhelming satisfaction with any chief minister. Yogi Adityanath fares a bit better than the others. Is that a sense that we are at the end of a five-year term of all these governments? So a level of anti-incumbency seems to have set in in almost all the states. Absolutely, uh, uh, Rajdeep. And if you look, we didn't just look at these five chief ministers. We also looked at uh, all the other chief ministers. And if you see the, uh, and, and if it's being projected later on this, there is a whole lot of other chief ministers, including Naveen Patnaik, who are scoring far above 40, 43, 45, going right up to 70%. Mm -hmm. And in those places, they, they somehow seem to have convinced their electorate that whatever work that they've done uh, is paying off. And I think the question to ask in this mm -hmm. and to look at is, have the chief ministers, is this a reflection? I know this is, we put the caveat, right? Mm -hmm. This is a national poll. It's unfair to just look at this particular figure. But the question can be asked. Has this state chief minister delivered sufficiently? And as if Yashwant is saying, there's so much of negative vote, 
He better watch out. You know, uh, Rahul Varma, before Rahul Kawal takes over with the politician, just a quick word from you. Uh, state elections are often seen as a referendum on the performance of chief ministers because elections are getting presidential. Should these numbers worry all these five chief ministers, given that no one is crossing certainly the 60% mark, all in fact below 50%? Uh, I wouldn't say so. Uh, I think uh, if the net satisfaction rating, which is basically uh, uh, satisfied minus dissatisfied, is in the positive direction, I think after five-year term, chief ministers should be uh, okay with that. Of course, it would be ideal to have a higher satisfaction rating going beyond 50 and 60 percent, but given uh, the level of incumbency, as Yashwanji mentioned, that's, I, I think, fine. Uh, I think what's happening among the five uh, uh, chief ministers you actually mentioned, basically there is a division, right? Uh, Yogi Adityanath and uh, Manipur CM Ibobi Singh is basically around 40 or above 40. Nipendra Singh, Especially yes. uh, Channi uh, in Punjab, Pradeep Samant in Goa, and Dhami Uttarakhand. All these three chief ministers are basically were appointed in last six months to uh, one year, right? So there is also that these are newcomers, didn't get enough time to do what they wanted to do. And perhaps in the anti-incumbency sentiment, political instability, at least at the uh, chief minister level, is also being reflected right. in those numbers. At least Adityanath and Singh basically got all five years to govern.